I think the first awakening I had about the magic of art was when my mother gave me a book called Famous Paintings when I was in the first grade. And it had a picture of Henry VIII as a little boy and an image by an Italian Renaissance master of St. George slaying the dragon. I thought they were magic. And uh, at some level, I thought, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen, so I'd love to try to make paintings. My father drew a lot. My aunts also painted junior high school, high school, really important teachers. Virginia Montague in, at Woodrow Wilson was a major person for me. Shirley Young at Patrick Henry and Emily Kelly. We were saying, Emily, what should we do? And she said, go to Mary Baldwin. So I did. I got a liberal arts degree there in art and French and art history. Today, I'm working in a variety of media. I make a primitive wood sculpture, realist paintings, and I work in a kind of collage form involving found tin materials and found fabric and spray-painted stencils. So, given the permission of many contemporary artists whose work I look at, who are working in, in a range of media, I get a yes from that idea. Roanoke is a place where you can actually make a difference. And interesting contemporary work is made here. It's, uh, art is made here at all levels, from the person who wants to paint on the weekends and finds community in that, to folks who make uh, much more edgy contemporary works and show that work often out of town. And that's why lots of people are here. They, they move back here, as I have, or they come here from other more pressurized places and find that there are a lot of interesting people here making art uh, in, the, in all the artistic disciplines. So you can throw yourself into a project and actually be a part of that. You can have an idea and get some people together and actually implement that idea in a place like, like Roanoke. It's just the right size for such things. So uh, that's what I've experienced over and over again here. <laughs>